Borderfield State Park occupies some 400 acres in the very southwestern corner of the continental U.S. The entrance to the park isn't exactly inviting. There's an empty dirt lot for parking and a gate that's usually closed. But a project is underway to make the park more welcoming, using trash collected from the adjacent Tijuana River Valley and Estuary. Stephen Wright is co-founder of the organization Four Walls International. Four Walls takes trash found in the border region and repurposes it as construction materials. These are all uh, bottles that were, we actually sourced these out of the canyon right upstream. This trash will eventually become a bench for park visitors. This is a shared binational watershed with about 70% of it in, in Mexico. And a lot of the socioeconomic issues on the south side of the border have a direct correlation to the environmental issues here on the, on the northern side of the border. Park director Chris Peregrine takes me to a stash of plastic bottle building blocks. If you look at this foam, those little particles, this just splits and breaks and gets smaller and smaller and, and disperses through the environment and gets embedded in the riparian habitat and the salt marsh and then ultimately is making its way out to the ocean. The work here to improve the park entrance is funded by a grant from the San Diego Foundation. And it's not just about building things with trash. It's part of a larger effort to improve the border environment in the U.S. and in Mexico and to involve the people who stand to benefit from cleaner water and a healthier Tijuana River Valley. These sorts of cleanups and these smaller level projects are important ways to help the, the public understand the, the consequences of our decisions here. September and October are prime cleanup months in border canyons and river valleys because soon the rains will come bringing trash, polluted water and sediment from illegal dumps and construction sites in Tijuana. South of the border in the Playas de Tijuana neighborhood, dozens of people are cleaning up an abandoned park that stretches along a narrow canyon feeding into the Tijuana estuary across the border. The workers are employed through a temporary work program run by Mexico's equivalent of the Environmental Protection Agency. Here, too, Four Walls International is turning trash into park amenities. The U.S. EPA is supporting the project. This place is important because first, Tijuana doesn't have many green areas or places to recreate. And second, the idea is to preserve this area to recover the original vegetation. Downstream from the park, the native willow trees are dense, nearly blocking out sounds from the surrounding neighborhood. Homeless people and deportees used to camp here, but local authorities recently kicked them out so workers could start restoring the natural environment. We walk through the canyon brush until we reach a barrier of rust-colored thick steel bars, the U.S.-Mexico border fence. Jose Palomera Chavez is one of the workers cleaning out the canyon. He's grateful for the job, but seems somewhat skeptical of his neighbor's will to keep areas like this one clean. The truth is that the people, we don't do our part. I've noticed that several times they've cleaned the canal in my neighborhood, and you should go see it now. It's full of trash, polluted water, and tires. If it's not cleaned up again, and it rains hard, all of that trash is going to end up here. In some ways, this is exactly the point of these binational restoration efforts, to make people like Palomera Chavez aware that how you treat your neighborhood makes a difference not just there, but everywhere downstream. Jill Replogle, KPBS News.